Well, easily winning re-election this, uh, this election is Brenda Lawrence. She is the representative for Congress in the 14th District. She joins us now on the Oakland County Megacast. Thank you so much for being with us, and congratulations on re-election. Thank you so much. It's been a long day, long night, um, but I am so glad to be here, and I want to thank everyone who placed their trust in me and voted for me. I received over 78% of the vote and I'm extremely appreciative and uh, look forward to another term in Congress. Yeah, it, it, you won very easily uh, this reelection, but uh, not only a long night, a long week, but this has been a long year. Do you hope that with the election behind us that we can, although we don't know the presidency yet, uh, so I still feel like we have a very long week ahead of us. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, however, that knowing that being said and knowing that you have been reelected, you've secured your position, what do you want to focus on in your next term? Well, what I want to focus on is an agenda of uniting America. We are so divided. Um, I, I love the comment, uh, and I tell people this, if you think our Constitution is one that is embracing of values, of, of rights, and, and produce laws that will uh, protect American citizens is not a Democrat or Republican constitution. It is a result of two parties coming together, sharing and debating and, and, and sometime actually scrapping over philosophies. But at the end of the day, we have one constitution. We're one, we pledge one nation under God. And I, I just hope, and what I'm gonna work for we always talk about working across the aisle. I think it's more than that now. I think it's about listening to each other and respecting each other. Um, I, I, I so want our economy to recover. I want America and, and Oakland County to get back to work. I want us to be safe. I want people to stop dying in America from a virus. And I think we can chew gum and walk at the same time. I don't think we have to just pick one side and just stay in our corner, I think we can come together because I don't think anyone wants to lose a loved one or to suffer in a hospital from this virus. I don't think anyone wants to sit at home unemployed. I don't think it's one in lieu of the other. So we have a lot of work to do. Um, from the way things look, our Senate is gonna remain the same. It'll be a Republican majority. Um, it looks like we'll maintain the majority in the House and who knows who's going to be our president. Um, but America continues. This is an, an election and a democracy. And I will say to everyone listening, regardless of where you stand on your values and your beliefs, we must all be locked armed in protecting our democracy. Voting, counting the votes, and accepting the results of the election. How hopeful are you for the future after hearing we had very few disturbances or any problems at the polls yesterday mm -hmm. here in the state of Michigan following all weeks of talk about the possibility of voter intimidation? We had nothing yesterday. I mean, how great was that? I mean, everybody was on edge. I was. It's a tradition of mine. I go vote in the morning on election day, and then I stay out and visit polls all over the district. And I did not see, did not hear any concerns about intimidation. And, and how great is that, that who we are as a country where we uh, embrace democracy and that we practice it every four years where we have a peaceful transition that in Michigan, we stay true to that. So I'm very, very hopeful and very happy about that. Well, I know that you probably need a day of rest and a day of sleep. <laughs> a, little <laughs> uh, bit, a little bit. Just a little bit. What time did you actually get to bed? I don't know. I was, my <laughs> stomach was in knots watching those maps. I know the last time I looked at the clock, it was something to three. And I just like, I got to stop. I got to stop. 
So um, then the phone started ringing off the hook um, with congratulatory calls, with calls about the election results. So I've been working this morning on, this is my fourth Zoom this morning. So uh, <laughs> it never stops, it never stops. But I just, again, want to say thank you to everyone. The votes um, that were cast, thank you. Thank you for embracing a a system where you can mail your ballots in early to give us additional uh, layer of protection when it comes to COVID. Thank you for um, everyone who voted, whether you voted for me or not, because this country doesn't work unless you vote. And I just wanna say thank you again for sending me back to Congress. I accept this challenge and I promise you, I will give it 100%. And the, tr the faith and trust you placed in me, I don't take lightly. And I will continue to work hard, show up at work, and to be truthful and to fight for this Constitution in our country. Well, we appreciate your time this morning, and we also appreciate the work that you're doing. We're going to let you go so you can try to get a little bit of sleep uh, today. Brenda Lawrence with us on the Oakland County Megacast, easily being reelected to her position in the 14th district, uh, 130,000 votes plus to over her a challenger, Robert Vance Patrick, a Republican, receiving just 41,000 of the votes with 100% of the precincts reporting here in Oakland County.